Hello and welcome to the second video of this series about white label sites where I am going to show you how to define device types, capabilities and tips and tricks on how to invite your users, manage your reports, your rules and get everything ready to use the white label sites. So let's get started. So here's where we left it. And now I'm going to show you how it looks like when I log in. So I'm going to use my email address, of course, and my keys. And this is how my white label site now looks like. You're going to see now my subdomain and my logo and everything seems perfect. I go back and you are going to see that the management of the white label is inside of the app.datacake.de and inside of your domain you cannot see the white label site anywhere and this is because we want to keep it hidden from the white label users so you're going to be able to manage it um, in here and you're going to see that we have uh, some aspects of it that you can also configure. You can configure which device types you want your users to be able to add. So in this case, because we want to enable billing because we don't want my customers to see the data cake platform logo anymore at all. Uh, I, I'm going to manage my billing outside of data cake. Um, I'm going to send my customers invoices. So I only want them to be able to add devices via pin code claiming. So when you go to your white label site and you click on add devices, you're going to see that only pin code claiming is active there. And that's what device types means. Now you also can hide or enable aspects of the platform and um, that will allow you to decide what your customers can and cannot do within your white label site. That means that, for example, you want your, your users to add their devices, but you don't want them to change the dashboards that are created for them. So in here you have a space that says disable dashboard editing, for example. And if you go in here, and you click on a device, you're going to see that you actually can um, change a dashboard within your white label site. But when you click on disable dashboard editing and you save the changes and now reload, you're going to see that your users are not able to edit the dashboard anymore. So you can give these capabilities side a look and see what you can enable and disable within your white label side that's going to be very useful for um yeah giving your site the capabilities that you want it to have and now you're going to see that we also have an api aspect all of the api and mqtt broker is also personalized so um, you can use the graphql using your own domain you can also configure a banner. Um, it's a very simple banner that enables you to add your logo and some links into it. It's very easy in here. You can select the size, the color and so on. And in here you can add anything and a URL. So for example, and you can save it and you can see when you reload that now you have a banner and you can add a URL and you can redirect your users to your own website, for example, or you can add a support email address in there. So that's what the banner is for. And you also have users and audit log. That means that you can uh, invite people to your white label site and you can see what they are doing within the, the white label site. You will see here in the filter what things are getting logged. So um, when a user is invited, when a user is removed, when there's configures, uh, configurations changed, if uh, workspace permissions have changed anything and who uh, did stuff within the white label side, which is very useful. Now to the juicy part, how do I invite people and how do I enable them to start using my white label side? You have two options to invite people. You can still add your members via app.datacake.de but you want them to receive the invitation with your 
branding and your email. So when you click on add member, you will see that you have the email part. You can add the email of the person that you're trying to invite. And when you click on email branding, you're going to see that there's two options. There's the default data cake branding and there's the white label site branding. And you have to make sure that you select the email branding of your white label site so that your users will get the invitation via your own email address with your own branding. And um, here you can select the workspace permissions that you want to grant your uh, users and so on. And then you will click on save and they will receive the invitation via email in, in case they don't have an account already. If they already have an account, then they won't receive an email. They will simply be added to the workspace that you invite them to. And uh, the same for reports. In the report area, you're going to see in here that you have a email branding. You can select now your own branding. So now your users will receive the reports using your branding and exactly the same on rules. And you scroll down, you will see your white label sites branding. And for the rule engine, it's exactly the same. You will see in there the branding of your white label site now. So you have to change that in order for your users to receive the emails via your own email. So that's it. That's basically it. Um, you have now the possibility to invite members to create reports and to create notifications using your own branding. So and this was the end of our two video series about the white label site. I hope this was informative and that you can see how the white label site works, what you get when you uh, obtain it. And uh, I want to remember again to subscribe to our next webinar about our zones feature. It's going to be the 24th of July. You will find more information on our website, datacake.co. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for the next videos.